Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad, New York, and New England, where everyone belongs, and the Orthodox Union. Abel Dinonair has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Welcome to this edition of Able Dinner on Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. On this uh, edition um, of Able Dinner on Air, first of all, I would like to thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mount, and Green Mountain Support Services, and many others. Um, the title of this program today is uh, Scams and How to Get Out of Them. Um, what if you are uh, a person with a disability or just a normal person? Everybody's normal in their own respect. And you get taken care of, and, and you get, as they say, taken to the cleaners and, and scammed a large... Taken advantage of. Well, taken advantage of, or there's a, there's a term used, taken to the cleaners, in terms of um, being scammed out of large amounts of money, okay? Recently, recently, I've, um, you know, I need, I need dental work in the state of Vermont. And recently, I had um, gone to Affordable Dentures in Burlington, Vermont. Now, Affordable Dentures is um, a large discounted or a corporate chain of dentists. So, uh, come to find out, uh, when I go there, um, they couldn't help me anyway because I have seizures. Almost had a seizure in the chair, and um, I told them to stop. They stopped, and they're giving me my money back. However, um, due to the, some, of the, some of the people that I've spoken to, why is it that uh, it takes a company 10 days to two weeks to give you your money back? Um, they... They owe me a large amount of money, $2,255. So, um, turns out, I disputed it with the bank. And um, the bank is going to be giving me the money before um, Affordable Dentures is. Now, uh, here, here's the snafu. First of all, it should not take a company 10 days to 2 weeks to give you your money back. Uh, according to the bank... They said they should give it to you within one to three days, okay? And then um, the bet. Now here, here's what I want to talk to you, uh, our audience about. There's an organization called the Better Business Bureau. Now, depending on where you live, okay? If you live in the Midwest, if you live in uh, Vermont, uh, if you live in now the New England. Better Business Bureau um, turned around and uh, gave Affordable Dentures of Burlington an F. Okay. Now the way, um, as a matter of fact, uh, we will show Better Business Bureau. Uh, we will show the way they were. You know, we'll show their website um, coming up in this uh, program. The way. It works is you get an A, B, C, D, F, like a report card type of rating, okay? Now, um, some years ago, back in 2012, um, PBS 
did a wonderful, uh, matter of fact, uh, we will show a clip of, the, uh, of, of this program. It's called Frontline. They did a wonderful documentary within the Frontline program uh, called uh, Dent Dentists and Dollars. Basically, uh, corporate dentists like Aspen Dental, Affordable Dentures, di um, and different corporate places treat people so similar to going into Burger King or McDonald's. I'm going to give a large piece of advice. Do not, I repeat, do not, now this is part of this commentary, do not go to a dentist that treats you like McDonald's or Burger King. No. Um, Burger King, that. yeah, Burger King has a slogan, have it your way. Well, it turns out I didn't have it my way. No, uh, that's McDonald's. Yeah, no, no, no. Burger, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to look them up. That's no, McDonald's. no, no, McDonald's is uh, give us a break today. Oh. Okay. Burger King is have it your way. You know, you can have uh, pickles, onions, anything you want on that burger, you know, or you can have no toppings at all. It's the same thing like dentists. When you, I'm going to give you guys a piece of advice too. When you get a when you get a large um, item such as a dentist, a doctor, uh, uh, you know, a wheelchair, anything of those nature of that nature, a car, a boat, etc. You know, not to say people he, he in our audience can't afford a boat. Always go and check it out first before you buy it. Yeah, research it. Research it. Um, also, now, in terms of researching, you have the Better Business Bureau. Then you have other agencies, such as the U.S. Department of Consumer Affairs. The Board of Registration and Dentistry. Board, the Board of Registration of Dentistry in Vermont. You have the, the Vermont um, Chamber of Commerce. You have all these other agencies that can help you find what you need. Um, it so happens that if you're in pain or you're and you need something quick, that's this is where affordable dentures works. But um, sometimes it doesn't always work. So be, now the way the Better Business Bureau works here, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go through um, their website here. So if you need help or an agency uh, that deals with tax preparation, if you need a plumber, if you need a, land, a landscape contractor, if you need an electrician, if you need internet services, or car dealers, you can click anything that you need. So let, let, let's go through, let's type in the word dentist. Mm -hmm. Just as an example. Okay. They even have categories such as uh, pediatric dentistry, dentist, etc. All right. Put in zip code. I'm putting our zip code zero five six zero two. Which is the city of Montpelier. And then it goes. Oh, click search. Okay, and this is um, all businesses. Um, click both. Mm -hmm. um, it asks you whether or not you want accredited dentists or non-accredited dentists. So it gives Williston Dentistry. It gives um, all these dentists here. Okay, mm -hmm. Aspen Dental not accredited. Um, that's uh, you know uh, Central Vermont Dental. Uh, not accredited. Barry um, Barry Dentistry gives an A rating. Mm. So um, there's different dentists here. 
Okay. It, it, want, it good to go to a credit, not a non credit. Yeah. So to a credit, so this way you know the dentist is good and you know. But you can also call 211 and ask them too. Yeah, we're going to give that. Um, let's, let's put affordable dentures. Whoops. They're rating an F. I saw it online. It was terrible. Affordable dentures. All right. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, the game and F. No, I'm, I'm getting to that part. Yeah. Um, affordable dentures, Burlington PC. Now, when you click, um, when you click here, 1162 Williston Road, which is in Burlington, um, it gives it gives them. Two complaints, 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 complaints. Yeah. It gives them it give it gives them an A rating here. Oh, they, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, F rating. Excuse me, F rating. Mm -hmm. We, yep. So it gives them a one, a one, a one point five star, pretty much, which is F. This business, I'm gonna turn it around if I can. Well, okay, we'll get it with the camera. And, um, you know, it's not good. Again, if you are uh, being taken advantage of, it's never good to do that. And, and anything, no, no, in terms of big items, is there anything you want to say about the big items and being taken advantage of? Well, like a cell phone company, you never know. Mm hmm you never know. And like um, your, your telephone company, mm -hmm. they don't want to fix it. And you're like, you know, you're disputing with them and they don't want to come. And they, you have to call Better Business Bureau to get them out of business. And so well, no, the Better Business you, Bureau... You be the, on like a computer or, or a laptop or, or a, a, anything big like a, like a food processor or something like a bag. Mm -hmm. like well, that, the better the better business bureau. Uh, uh, even electrician, you always gotta research electrician. If you hire an electrician, you must research. You must make sure that that man is licensed and how many. If he's not, if he's okay, if he's licensed, okay. How, how, if there's any complaints about him, how is he doing? You know, any anything you need, you must. Uh, you, any kind of service, you must. You must, uh, you know, do it. Mm -hmm. Well, the well, here's the thing. Um, well, you know, one main thing, the customer and is always right. Okay, <laughs> for you know, pretty much, pretty much, you must research uh, a business. If you don't research a business, it's like being a reporter. If you don't do your research, you're not gonna come out with the right information. And know. there's always there's also the the U.S. I'm gonna look them up. Uh, it, there's also the U.S. Department of Consumer Affairs. Yeah. Okay. Sure. U.S. Service Commission, that's who I would call. I know a cell phone company. Any any company who's gonna Yeah, US Department Civil Service Commission. They wouldn't like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the US Department of Consumer Affairs, um if Consumer Protection Bureau, if you wanna put a complaint in. So um I think I have that number. Yeah. So if you want to put a complaint in to um, the um, in terms of fraud and any other complaints, you can uh, go on to the U.S. Department of Consumer Affairs and do that. Okay, um, you know, uh, matter of fact. Um, so 
If you if you need help, go to www.bbb.org. That's the Better Business Bureau.org, or you yep. can or you can go to uh, the U.S. Department of Consumer Protection and Consumer Affairs, um, yep. and uh, check them out. And you know if you don't, you know it's going to end up being a scam. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. So. Well, Someone for help. Yeah, it, it it's never um, too late. Too late to, to check. That's what I was doing. Check, check, check on this business, and I make sure even the doctor. I don't care. Mm-hmm. It's never too late to ask for help or anything. Speaking, um, uh, I know one thing has nothing to do with another. Let's talk uh, COVID for a minute. In terms of the vaccines, you have several vaccines that are out now. Pfizer, Moderna, and now you have Johnson and Johnson. But, but that recently, Johnson and Johnson has been pulled off because it causes blood clots. Yeah. So John. And other health issues. So that's why they, the the president Biden paused it. The FDA and the CDC they both pulled that thing off because it causes blood clots and. They don't want people getting sick, so they stopped that that one shot. You know, so the other the other ones are available: um, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, and uh, Moderna. That's yeah. The one. Okay. okay. Let's talk okay. about. I, I'm not saying it's a scam, but let's talk about the Johnson and Johnson uh, vaccinations for a minute. Johnson and Johnson vaccinations have been pulled. Um, have been uh, pulled and paused. Uh, Pulled in pause uh, because of clotting cases. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and, and a woman and a woman died. Yeah. Someone died, and uh, you know you got to be very careful. So this way we have we have Pfizer now, which is good. We have Moderna. We have AstraZeneca. So that's the ones available now. So. Mm-hmm. If you want to get those, those are okay. But I recommend the Pfizer. <laughs> yeah, the the Pfizer is usually good. Um, so yeah. let's so let's go through this. It says um, federal health officials called for a halt uh, to use for the company's coronavirus uh, vaccine, which um, they study serious illnesses that are developed in six American women. Uh, uh, women. So women are getting illnesses. With you know, uh, women are getting um, blood clots from the shot from Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Mhm. I'm, I'm glad I didn't take that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, injections of the Johnson and Johnson coronavirus vaccine came to a sudden halt across the country on um, this past Tuesday after federal health officials called for a pause in the vaccine's use and. They examined a rare blood clotting disorder that emerged in six recipients. Yeah. Um, all six women between the ages of 18 and 48 all developed the illness between one, one to three weeks of the vaccine. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't take that. Good thing I didn't take that one. <laughs> one, one woman in Virginia died, and the second yeah. woman in Nebraska said that she was hospitalized in critical condition. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't get that one. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, gonna give an- they're probably going to give him another one now. Yeah. They're going to re- re-vaccinate them, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, they- the thing, I, didn't, I didn't take that one. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't. You, they gotta give more information. Johnson Johnson did not give more information. They did not say causes blood clots there. Mm-hmm. They hit that. They hit that. So that's not. Yeah, good. and also, uh, according to this, according to uh, according to this, uh, uh, let's see, um, the Biden administration tried to portray itself as a well prepared, well prepared for the set. Uh, for the setback, President Biden said he would meet his goal to have enough doses to vaccinate every American adult who wanted it by the end of uh, next month. Yeah, that's what he said. With, so with the ones that are available now. Yeah. The ones that are available now are good. 
So, you know, or girl, no, no, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the Pfizer that had less, less side effects. Yeah. <clears throat> the, but, but here, despite Mr. Biden's assurance or President Biden's assurance, the pause will, comp- will complicate the nation's vaccination efforts at a time when most states are confronting a surge in new cases and seeking to address hesitancy. Um, uh, regulators, uh, regulators in Europe and elsewhere are concerned about a similar issue with another coronavirus vaccine developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford University uh, researchers. At a news conference, Dr. Marks, which is a, who is a doctor that's helping with the COVID, um, drew a link between the the two vaccines, saying the clotting cases are very very similar. The clotting yeah. cases are very very similar. The vaccines are based on similar technologies, but AstraZeneca has not been authorized for emergency use in the United States. So that it's not um, usable in the United States as of yet. So anything you want to say before we end with that? I would say that, you know, be, be safe. Take the ones available now. Yeah. Take, take, the, take the ones available now. And um, if you... If you have any further problems, contact your local Board of Health to find out uh, when, when and what vaccine you are going to be receiving. Okay? Uh, well... You can always ask, you know, the site, what, 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 what vaccine am I going to get? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you can ask your local farmers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. so for more... For, for more information on the Better Business Bureau, you can contact them at www.bbb.org. Or for more information on the U.S. Department of Consumer Affairs, you can contact them at U.S. Department of Consumer Affairs um, org. And um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Then On Air. Please go get the vaccine. And in terms of scams, please make sure that you are not being scammed. And if you are, please seek help um, to make sure this scam does not happen to you again. Or please try to help those who need help uh, with being scammed. Because scams, uh, especially those that are dealing with Social Security or the IRS or any other scam artist, scam, once you stop a scammer... It's not going to happen again. Now, let's take a look at Frontline PBS's 2012-2013 expose on dollars and dentists. Let's take a look at this. Next time on Frontline. This child died for want of a dentist. The dental care crisis in America. No dentists want to see children on Medicaid. I've been to the ER three times within the last six months. Are corporate chains filling a gap? Smile now and pay later. Or taking advantage of people in pain? Dentistry is, in fact, a business. Dollars and dentists. Watch online or on air beginning June 26th. By the way, before we end this program, uh, I would like to say, you know, thank you to our sponsors and supporters. However, please consult your service providers or anyone your, your, anyone that's helping you in your circle, um, despite your disability, uh, and despite your challenge, anyone that's helping you professionally or personally in your circle. Please consult with them uh, so no one gets taken advantage of again. Um, It's extremely um, uh, hard for someone to take um, even a small amount of money or a merchant to hold on to a small or large amount of money for any length of time. If you need a refund back 
or or uh, or having problems getting refunds, uh, you can call the attorney general's office at uh, or you can email the attorney general's office at www.ago.vermont.gov forward slash cap. Okay. So if you have a problem getting a refund, you can call the Vermont Attorney General's Office or email the Attorney General's Office at www.ago.vermont.gov forward slash CAP. Again, this puts an end to this edition of Able Then On Air. I'm Lawrence Seiler. Arlene was here today. Thank you to our sponsors and supporters. See you next time. And please... Please be careful of being scammed. Able's In On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, and the Orthodox Union. Ableton On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com.